Hey everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. I hope you all are doing well on this, well, very sunny, beautiful blue skies day in Arizona. And I will be uploading this video with some connecting internet like always. Please check out the video description below where you can find unlimited high speed affordable internet anywhere you travel. First and foremost, I want to clarify, my life is not your life or your friend's life. <laughs> the trials and errors of my life are that of my own. I do share them here on YouTube to the entire public, whoever wants to see them, but I never compare my struggles to those that others face or pretend to walk in their shoes. I do share my real life. Now some recap for those of you who have missed the Bank of America saga that has plagued me for over two weeks. Well, I can't say two weeks. It has plagued me for over 13 years. But here is what I'm going to do to fix this as an update. I have an appointment to open a new account with a new bank coming up. Uh, I appreciate all the advice everyone was telling me to join a credit union here in Arizona. Unfortunately, because I am not an Arizona resident, I cannot start up an account with Wafa or Central Arizona Credit Union, both of which are in Sholo, where my property is at. However, I do have my own fix. Any bank is better, and I found a bank that actually has a branch in Sholo near my property, and I can go into Buckeye, Arizona tomorrow to take care of this. If you know me by now, I am happiest with distractions from reality. That's how I get through all this craziness, guys. Reality is not my thing. That's why I love the Disney parks, the NASCAR races, these long therapeutic Harley Davidson rides where I'm just in my zone, not thinking about anything going on in the real world. That's my Zen. While Wayne is back in Quartzsite working on my Bigfoot, putting the solar and all the wiring together, you know, I love having my Bigfoot and my car and my trailer and all my toys but mostly this Harley just gives me a whole other escape. I talked with camper van Kevin and big dog RVer Felix the other day and they helped me through a lot of my problems yesterday. They're good dudes. They are solid friends that I trust with my life and I am lucky to have friends all over the country who have my back like that. But redundancies, guys, I preach it, but I failed to have a bank backup for over 13 years now. I put all my eggs into one bank, essentially. Like I said, I've got plans to fix this, but I cannot do anything until tomorrow after the holiday. So, first, a distraction. This morning, I grabbed my passport and I hopped on the bike from Mexico. Yeah, I need heartburn meds, high blood pressure meds, antibiotics, and, uh, you know, maybe a chimichanga and a good Mexican margarita down there today. We are going south of the border to the country of Mexico. So please come on with me. And thank you again to all the people who asked me to add Jax to the intro and outro. It was a very tough thing for me to do several years after his passing. It is still so difficult for me, but you guys are right. Jax needed to be a part of both the intro and outro. And uh, here we are. I shed a layer. The, the hoodie had got the bike all locked up. Technically, right now we are in California, about six miles off of Interstate 8 in California. Uh, they do have motorcycle parking here, uh, six bucks for day use. They also have an RV park across the road. You can stay at the RV park. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna walk right into Mexico right there i can't film once we get up there so um i did bring my hopefully yes my passport good you're gonna need this to get back in to the united states later today but for right now we're gonna go check things out and uh go to mexico bike's good yep let's go and just like that we are in los algodonas mexico um it is actually a very american friendly town most things are still in Spanish, but they do accept American dollars here in Los Alcadonas. So you don't have to convert and get pesos and stuff like that. They, they will take American money at, at most places here and debit card and, and I got cash. Got to figure out my whole bank situation, but here's where I usually go. I go into 
Pharmacia Liquids. That's where I get all of my medication in the purple bag. I'm gonna go in there, make sure they got everything I need, and then we can go find lunch. Oh, and also outside they have these boards that show all the stuff that you can get in there. So if you're used to seeing it, like what it actually looks like, and of course they have generic versions of stuff. But yeah, super easy. It's not in a purple bag anymore. It is in a, a blue bag, but that is where I got it. I got my amoxicillin. Uh, so that next time I know I have an infection, I'm hacking up that yellow phlegm. I can just take 10 tablets. Now there are limits, so you gotta, and they know what the limits are going back over the border, but um, I just paid $6 for 120 omeprazole tablets. If I go to Walmart, it's $22 for 30 tablets. Really good deal. Ah, uh, Mexico. Look at the stop sign. It says Alto. Alto, yeah. Here's their Los Alcadonas uh, colorful sign here. Molar City, okay. Okay, wait, before we get food, somebody asked me to get them a carton of, of cigarettes. So I gotta go get the prices and find out who's got Mexican cigarettes. Well, no camel cigarettes here that I can find. I've tried three places and they've got Marlboro, Pall Malls, they've got all the, they got all the other brands, but I can't find Mexican camel cigarettes. So I told my buddy, I don't think I can get them. You might just have to go with what we got now. All right, this place looks promising. The El Rancherito restaurant and bar in here. I'm sitting outside. I got me some tortilla chips and salsa and a mango margarita from Mexico. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, that's a strong mango margarita. I love mango. Probably the only fruit I really like, especially when it's in a margarita. Mmm. Oh yeah. I asked her, she said the salsa is not too spicy. No, it's good. It's real good. Ooh, wait, wait. Yes, it is. It's way too spicy. Woo! All right, got my chicken chimichanga rice and beans. They did put some decorations on there that I took off, but man, this looks great. Margarita had a hole in it, so I'm trying some Tecate Light. I don't know, it's blue and silver. Mexican beer. Ooh, it's like the Keystone Light of Mexico. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love the live music in there. They're doing some eagles in there right now. Just a really cool atmosphere. There's a vendor here selling some custom t-shirts and stuff. There's a leather Harley bag there. And then we've got a, a dental place here that's written all in English with all their services, root canals, porcelain crowns and fillings and dentures, implants, and hey, all this with the margarita, the beer, and the chimichanga only came to $23. Perfect English, US dollars, you know, it's awesome. Well, I got another bag, uh, even though they're is not a Harley Davidson here in Los Alcadones, Mexico. Uh, somebody had a Harley Davidson custom t-shirt that I got, which I will show you when we get back to the, the, the motorcycle. Just walking through all these little sidewalks, looking at all the art. Somebody's doing some spray paint work there. Weird, wow. Just so you know, there is one phrase you're going to get very used to saying in Los Alcadones. No thank you, no thank you. Constantly, no thank you. And I do like how they have everything set out. You know, the road is just the road, although there's somebody walking right there. But the sidewalks are all, you know, covered but open air. It's really nice here in February. It might be a little hot in the summer though. And it's a very safe place, although sometimes you walk in some of these and you just feel like you're just surrounded by shirts and you don't know. A lot to see in here though. A lot of art too. Oh, here we go. Here's some artwork. There's Donkey down there. Jeez, look at all this artwork. They got outlet covers that are handmade. I don't think that's from our country though. This, uh, let me see. This one is custom handmade outlet cover. That's pretty cool. Or like address numbers and stuff. Look at these tiles. How cool is this? Some really cool artwork. But I'm only limited to one saddlebag left on the Harley. The other one's full. Actually, this might be my favorite vendor in all of Los Algodones. They've got some cool stuff. Of course, they're playing some copyright music in the background. 
But man, this is a, that's a colorful area. Holy cow. I do gotta get a magnet, but I think we can do better than that. All right, I got what I need. Now the question is how long is it gonna take to get back into the US? How long is the wait? Like I said in, in past videos, a passport is always your best bet, um, but um, a enhanced driver's license will al also work. And uh, I've traveled with friends who just have a normal driver's license and a birth certificate, an original birth certificate will also get you back in. You don't need a passport to come down here. But um, I think, yeah, more, more later. I think we're gonna stay down here. Actually, I'm gonna call Wayne and see if he can take care of the kitties. And uh, no, thank you. And uh, see, maybe, maybe I can find a place to stay. All right, we got our first glimpse. Here's where the line starts. And it does look like it's undercover, but you know what? That line looks like it's pretty long. Oh my gosh, this could be a while. Wow, I have been walking and walking. Wait a minute, I see the end. The end, the end of the line to get back is right there. We're so close, actually. Oh, I am gonna sneak over here and go inside here and then we'll walk down in the shade. Just like this. This is gonna be a long wait. This will be the quickest way to the end of the line. There we go. The end of the line, right here. There's the US, and if you haven't seen. That's, yeah, yeah, good luck. That's a, that's a very tall wall there. Okay. All right, and we're through. That was super easy. Uh, it took an hour and 15 or an hour and 20 minutes this time to get through the line. Might be longer some other days. Might be a lot shorter in the summertime. I don't know. But uh, while I was in line, I actually uh, booked an Airbnb just on the other side of this fence here. I'm going to stay down here in San Luis. San Luis, Yuma area, and uh, I already talked to Wayne. He's gonna take care of the kitties for me, so we're gonna go get checked into a, a neat little Airbnb. Wow. So remember when I was talking about distractions in life, getting me through life? Maybe this is one of those distractions, but this is all that spontaneous person inside of me also. Sometimes you just have to do it. So this is an up and coming neighborhood here in San Luis, Arizona, really close to the Mexico border. I mean, my phone can toggle back and forth between the two different carriers and the time zone difference. But um, this is this is my Airbnb, guys. Might be the nicest one I've ever stayed at. They've done really well. They've actually split the house into, into two separate Airbnbs. And so mine is actually back here. We don't go in the front door. We go around back, have a little private access here. Do you hear something? Well, <laughs> this, is, this is my Airbnb. <laughs> Talk about fancy. We got a Blackstone grill there and heck, yeah, my own private heated pool. <laughs> so I think they have their own pool over on that side also. But this is my private pool, heated with a waterfall and palm trees and a, and a baby palm. I mean, and unlike campgrounds and motels, there's no hours here. I don't have to share it. And you can bring barley pop out and drink it near the pool. Hey, yeah, you wanna see the inside? Me too. I'll punch in my gate code here real quick. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a studio apartment. I mean, it's got everything. TV, mini split, refrig refrigerator, stove, microwave. I don't see an oven. Yep, they got Tecate light in there ready for me. Awesome. A bed, a couch, and I mean, you just can't beat this view. Look at this, we are using this right away. I mean, wow. What a neat little Airbnb. Got a little nook here for editing, a huge bathroom with dual sinks, and toilet and shower. Yeah, I think I got lucky, guys. This one is apparently usually booked. There was an opening today, by the way, Back at camp, I am recording the delayed Daytona 500. Uh, Wayne's taking care of that with some cords and wires and Dish Network, and then I guess I'm gonna watch the Daytona on Tuesday night instead. But yeah, I, we need to get in that pool. 
Oh, but first though, here is my t-shirt, Harley Davidson Los Algodonas Baja Mexico. Now, I don't know if this is like a licensed shirt or anything. Uh, let me see what brand, yeah, probably not. This is definitely my first unlicensed Harley t-shirt, but you know, I, I had to have it. And I did get me a Los Algodonas magnet with a uh, saguaro cactus and Senor sleeping there with his sombrero and a bunch of beers. Oh, and I was thinking when I was in line getting out, it's like, Eric, wait, you didn't plan this. You didn't bring any medication to get your heart burned. I'm like, wait, we just got medication, literally. So I have all my medication. So <laughs> I guess we just kind of got lucky with that. But no, I am a very spontaneous person. However, on the way over from here, from the border to here, I did stop. Got me some new swimming trunks. I actually left my blue ones in the last whatever motel that was. That would have been probably in Sholo. I left them in there, so I needed some anyway. But yeah, let's get in the pool. This is living. Well, actually this is vacationing for me. That is really good beer. Is it brewed? Peco and Mexico, I believe. Don't trust my Spanish, but I believe that means brewed in Mexico or made in Mexico. Yeah, if I were stuck in Mexico, I, I could definitely survive on Tecate Light. Mm. This is kind of what makes me jealous of people that have homes though. Having a, a pool or a hot tub all the time would be perfect if there was a soft tub right there, like a little Coleman jacuzzi right there. And actually, I like this because it drowns out other noises, like maybe the neighbors talking or dogs barking or something, all I hear is the waterfall. And I think that's kind of a nice touch, actually. <sighs> yeah. Um, I did stop at a couple gas stations here in San Luis and I cannot find a frozen pizza. So, don't know what I'm doing for dinner. I may have to finally break the tradition of eating pizza on nights away from the RV. We'll see. But, Uber Eats. Let me update my address here real quick. Yes, Little Caesars. No, I won't. No, I won't, because I don't have a virtual debit card, Eric. They don't take cash on this app. You have to link a card. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I guess I'm walking to the gas station and getting gas food. We're finally breaking the tradition, I guess. Speaking of the debit card though, Tomorrow afternoon, I have an appointment um, with my new bank. I'm opening my new account with a new bank, as well as I ordered a PayPal MasterCard. So I'm gonna have two new ways to bank. Um, and I'm closing out my Bank of America. No, I'm not doing it tomorrow. I'm gonna keep it open just so there's some overlap so I can make sure everything runs smoothly. But I am withdrawing all of my money and canceling all of my automatic payments with my Bank of America and switching them to my new bank. And, and hopefully here next week, I'll get that PayPal MasterCard too, which will, will fix this problem. Gosh. Yeah. All right, well, not pizza. But I rode the bike down to a Jack in the Box to get some comfort food. We are breaking the tradition today. I sure miss those kitties. We'll see them tomorrow. Um, they, they got Netflix here signed in. I'm watching a documentary called Lover, Stalker, Killer. Only 17 minutes in before I went to go get dinner. It's actually uh, really good so far. So I got uh, two chicken sandwiches and some curly fries. Oh yeah. In the last 10 to 12 years of my career, I worked as a special victims unit detective. Hey, wait, I just noticed something. Let me turn that outdoor light on. Uh, nope, that one. The waterfall. Turned off. No more waterfall. So it must be on a timer. I think. Oh, yeah. That's the vacuum, right? Yeah, I think that's the vacuum. I feel like I need to be quieter out here now because it's so quiet without the waterfall going. I know there's people next door because there's a car out front now. Yep, I think one more trip in here ought to do it. But you know, I do want to go ahead and close this video out here while it's dark, guys. I got a long, busy, complicated day tomorrow, followed by hopefully, I'm probably going to be the only one watching the race on a 
a one day delay. Really, it's a two day delay because it was supposed to be Sunday. But they did actually race today. I don't. I haven't heard the outcome, and I have not been on social media. I am not going to be reading any comments, so it's still going to be a surprise to me. You guys know I'm rooting for William Byron, but we'll see how this year goes. I had to pick a new driver because Harvick's out. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close this one out, guys. I'm anxious to get back and see those kitties in my next video. Y'all be well. Good night.